conditional blocks in scratch chapter focus in this chapter we will learn about block shapes in scratch sensing blocks sensing an input variables creating variables in scratch conditional blocks creating a game boot up create the following script in scratch and draw the output when flag clicked hide set pen color to violet set pen size to 3 pen down repeat 9 repeat 360 turn 1 degree move one step turn 40 degrees so what is the output that you get right block shapes in scratch blocks are puzzle pieces like shapes which are used to create code in scratch these pieces connect to each other like a jigsaw puzzle they are of the following shapes hat blocks hat blocks are designed to start a script these blocks have a rounded top and notch at bottom other blocks can only be placed below this block but not on the top of it and this to children so where is a hat block yes so this is a hat block stack block stack blocks have a notch at the top and a bump at the bottom hence the blocks can be placed both at the top and the bottom there are 77 stack blocks so you can see a stack block here boolean block boolean blocks represent two conditions either true or false there are 13 such blocks tit bit there are two hat blocks found in events control and my block categories reporter blocks reporter blocks hold the values either numeric or string it is used wherever a value is needed inside another block there are 37 blocks c blocks c blocks are also known as wrap block they are c shaped these blocks loop the conditions in the code they are found in the control category cap blocks cap blocks end the scripts they have a notch at the top and a flat at the bottom no blocks can be placed below them these blocks are found in the control category sensing blocks during the execution of a script scratch sensing blocks detect input from the keyboard or mouse listed below are some of the sensing blocks and their respective functions this block asks the user to enter the information or text and then waits so you can see the box children and the example is ask what's your name and wait this block evaluates to true if the sprite is touching another sprite edge of the stage or the mouse pointer the block results to true if the sprite is touching a specified color touching color pink this block results to true if the first color is touching a sample of the second color color green is touching violet this block evaluates to true if the specified key is pressed by the user key space pressed sensing an input to add sensing blocks to the script follow the given steps step 1 in tabs select the sensing block category step 2 insert a sprite go po on the stage delete the cat sprite step 3 create a new floral backdrop for the stage step 4 now drag the ask block to the script area click on the block a speech bubble appears above the gobo with the text what's your name you will also see an input box on the stage with the blinking cursor enter your name it will appear in the input box click on the check button or press the enter key you will notice that the input box waits for your input also when you type 
the name and press the enter key the name disappears step 5 to display the typed name as well click the checkbox next to the answer box the response appears on stage additionally you can place the answer block within the speak block it will appear like this this block is attached to ask block now click and observe the results gobo speaks the name for a specified amount of time you are able to replace the question in the ask section with any query you like click the text box and enter the query thinking skill how will you turn the sprite in anti-clock direction experimental learning create the following script with the gobo sprite and write the output in the given space when clicked repeat three move five steps wait one second ask how are you and wait say answer for five seconds so you can see the script and when you run the script what is that you get variables a compute program requires data inputs the data can be found in any format such as text number image currency date etc since data can vary from value to value the computer creates space in its memory to store that data these computer memory locations are called variables the value of a variable can change during the program execution time for example in a program we need input as 10 in the beginning but later the input value required is 20 so in this case a variable say x is defined in the program which will store these values and help in the execution without changing the program block in the scratch program we can define a variable by using the variable blocks blocks in the variable categories are in this block when we select the checkbox the block appears on the stage displaying the current value of the variable this block sets the value to the assigned variable this block shows the variable and its value on the stage this block hides the variable and its value on the stage creating variables in scratch to create variables in scratch proceed as follows step 1 select the variables block category a collection of blocks appears in the palette of blocks step 2 click make a variable block a new dialog box for variables open input a variable name in the box labeled new variable name step 3 select either choice by selecting the radio button if you want this variable to appear for all sprites provided here or if you want this variable to appear only for this sprite specify for this sprite only here we've introduced the fruit variable it will be accessible to every sprite step 4 click on ok button fact hunt every time you type a name or number the previous values in the variable gets deleted and the new value is stored variable is included in the variables block list note that the variable computer appears in every block create the following script immediately when clicked ask which type of computer do you have and wait say answer for four seconds set computer to answer the sprite will request that you enter text on your pc when you press the enter key the computer's name displays in the sprite's speech bubble the computer's name also appears in the answer as well as the variable's name on stage this variable computer is a string variable 
as we are saving names in the variable. If you save numbers in a variable, it will be a numeric variable. Conditional blocks Frequently, you must do a task that is dependent on some condition. For instance, you must prepare a banana shake. There are two requirements. A. Check the refrigerator to see whether any bananas are present. If bananas are available, a banana shake will be made. B. If there are no bananas, you will make lemonade. The condition in this case is the availability of bananas. We can also write this in two ways. If bananas are available, then make the banana shake. If bananas are available, then make the banana shake. Else, make lemonade. In such situations, we use conditional blocks. Scratch allows two conditional blocks. They are if then block. If the condition is fulfilled, the blocks included within the conditional block will execute. If the condition is false, the conditional blocks contents will not be executed. Only the statements outside the conditional block will be executed. If then, else block. If the condition is fulfilled, the blocks within the then condition will be executed. If the condition is false, the else conditions blocks will be executed. These blocks can also be used with the forever and repeat blocks. Let us create a brief script. Change the sprite to a hippo butterfly and the background to a floral pattern. When the green flag is clicked, drag the event block to the script area. Place the control block on the green flag block by dragging it into the script area. Put the move block within the forever block by dragging it inside. Now, drag the edge block within the everlasting block using the mouse. Place the if then control block within the forever block and snap the color detecting block to the hexagon of the if loop. Now follow the given script. When green flag clicked, forever, move 25 steps, next costume, if on edge, bounce, set size to 100%, touching color green, question mark, then change color effect by 50, touching color orange, then switch costume to hippo 1. B. The hippo butterfly changes color and size when it touches the colors selected in the touch block. Similarly, you can create scripts with two sprites and they change color when they touch each other. Creating a game. Let us create a colored spinner that spins when touched with the mouse pointer. The first step is to draw a colored circle. Now. Create the given script for the colored spinner to spin. When green flag clicked, forever, touching mouse pointer, then repeat 100, turn 10 degrees. When you click on the green flag and bring the mouse pointer on the colored spinner sprite, it starts spinning. Chapter Recap Scratch blocks come in various shapes. They can be classified into six distinct shapes. Hat blocks always appear at the beginning of a script since they initiate the script. Stack blocks execute the fundamental commands. Boolean blocks are condition blocks that return true or false or the digits 0 and 1. Reporter blocks may contain either numeric or textual values. C blocks are loop blocks that examine whether a condition is met within the loops blocks. Cap blocks are the script termination blocks. During script execution, the sensing blocks in Scratch detect input from the keyboard or the mouse. A program in Scratch is referred to as a script. We save information in the computer's memory so that we can retrieve it later. This information is saved in variables. The term for a variable that stores numbers is numeric variable. 
A string variable is a variable that keeps letters in the form of strings or characters. If then and if then else are the two conditional blocks available in Scratch. In Scratch, you may construct games by painting a new sprite and a new background.